terminal velocity. When an object falls, it accelerates until the force of air resistance is equal to the force of gravity on that object. This speed is terminal velocity, the speed at which acceleration is zero. So why does a coin fall faster than a feather? The feather is lighter than the coin. Because the feather is very light, air resistance quickly equals its weight, so acceleration is very brief. This means the feather has a low terminal velocity. A penny weighs more, so there needs to be more air resistance for the penny to reach terminal velocity. The penny will be able to accelerate more, so it will have a greater speed when it reaches terminal velocity. We now know how mass affects terminal velocity, but how does air affect it? So if paratrooper Bob goes parachuting, what will happen if he falls with a chute as opposed to without one? Bob falls much slower when he has his parachute on, but why? Bob's parachute has more area, which makes it so more air resistance builds up faster. The increased air resistance contracts Bob's weight quicker, so he will stop accelerating sooner. Without a parachute, air resistance will build up slower, and Bob will fall at a much greater speed before he stops accelerating. If an object has more area, its air resistance will be greater, so its terminal velocity will be reached sooner. An object with the same mass but less area will have a greater terminal velocity, because it will take more time for air resistance to build up to contract the object's weight. Yo, it's DJ Kara and DJ Sarah. Terminal velocity ain't no atrocity. It's really quite simple if you want to understand. Just drop a feather and a coin right out your hand. Net force is zero. You don't have to be a hero. Acceleration, terminate. It's really kind of great. If you're parachuting, we'll all be rooting. Terminal velocity saves your life so you can go home and hug your wife. It's terminal velocity. What? Yeah.